Hi there, it's Jake with the Jaw Media YouTube channel, and thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to be taking apart this RTX 2070 Super, Founders Edition. Uh, that'd be an N NVIDIA. So, all we're wanting to do is take this thing apart, and first off, see how serviceable it is, and then secondly, um, see how much of a bear it is to get apart. I've heard through uh, some other sources that these things are not nearly as straightforward as some uh, third-party cards. Um, Right up here is the SLI um, tab cover thingy, but that just comes right off. And uh, we have an entire array of teeny tiny Phillips head screws. So um, I think there's like 14 of them on this back plate, not including the four that hold the cooler on. So we'll take all these out and... Um, try to get this thing separated and pulled apart so that we can get inside and attempt to replace the thermal paste, check the condition of the thermal pads, and then, um, you know, if this was dirty, then we could try to clean the cooler out, clean the fans off, and have a uh, nice, clean, breathing card again. Okay, in order to tackle this little project here, you're going to need, uh, you're going to need some Q-tips or, and or some paper towels, and uh, teeny tiny little Phillips head screws or screwdriver bits and um, uh, you'll want some rubby alcohol isopropyl 99% uh, works the best to clean the uh, thermal paste off of the uh, unit and hopefully you won't need any um, thermal pads um, usually I mean it takes a long time for them things to, to wear out uh, If as long as the thermal pads are not you know, it, 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 as long as they're solid, you know, you don't you don't want thermal pads that are all uh, crusty and like grinding into powder in your hands. If they're in that condition, then yeah, obviously they need replaced. Uh, but most likely, you can just make sure they're back where they belong, and they'll work just fine. Do with, do as they're intended. Okay, and once we've got all the uh, backplate screws out, um, we'll need to take these little screws out of the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. The shield on the back of the card where uh, all the outputs are. There's just a few screws back here. But yeah, this whole plate's got to come off. Uh, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's got to come off. So we'll, we'll take these out right here. And um, we'll be back in a minute with the uh, back plate hopefully off of this thing. And we'll see what we need to do next. Okay, and the back plate should come off after you get all them screws out. Yeah, just like that. Be careful, there are some thermal pads. Yep, on the uh, back plate here. So this one's trying to peel off. See how it's all pliable? That thermal pad is good. These thermal pads are all in fine condition. So next up, if you can tell, probably not because the camera's too far away, but there are no more screws. I don't think. Yeah, see, it's... Uh, there's still something holding it. Don't move that. There's still something holding this thing together. So, give me a second and I'll figure it out. Okay, if you take a real close look, see these little standoff things? Um, I guess they're standoffs, but where, where all these screws screwed into for the back plate. Look at that, wow. Uh, but anyway, the standoffs are four millimeter um, sockets, so we need to use a four millimeter and we'll take all the standoffs out and that should uh, I'm sorry I'm just messing with the camera that's uh, that's mesmerizing the technology is amazing I, I, I find it crazy that we can manufacture stuff like that as human beings it's I mean such small such complex that, look at all that look at that uh, sorry but anyway yeah four millimeter we'll take all these standoffs out and the PCB should come away from the cooler just fine Okay, so here's our little teeny tiny four millimeter uh, bit or socket, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we'll just go around and take these little tiny bolts out, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know what else to call them, uh, standoffs or bolts. But um, every spot, like I said, every spot where uh, a screw went in to hold the backing plate on is um, where these standoffs are or bolts. Each one of these little puppies got to come out. And I believe once we get these out, this PCB will just pop away from the uh, from the cooler itself, and we'll be able to roll this thing over and take a gander at the uh, at the heart of the operation and see what it looks like. 
All right, so once we get all these out, um, you can take the PCB away from the cooler. Just be careful when you lift it away. There is a uh, wiring harness that goes from the PCB to the fans. Uh, you don't want to rip that or damage it because that would be um, that would be very sad. Uh, right there it is. And there you go. Look at that. We got her apart. And be careful of all the thermal pads. You can see... Uh, certain little chips or ICs, whatever, have random, what looks to be random pads on them. And uh, some components have thermal compound on them. Hmm. What is that for the uh, VRM? Yeah, some of the VRM has a uh, uh, thermal compound on it. Yeah, this thermal pad. Yep, it went right there. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Anyway, we're going to go ahead and unplug it so that we can work with this thing a little easier. Remember, just be very gentle. You don't want to you don't want to break nothing, but uh, this thing should just unplug, right? Yeah, it's just a regular. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. And we'll move the cooler. This massive freaking cooler. There's the there's the paste I was talking about. Uh, I've never seen that done, but I haven't really taken very many cards apart, and this is the first Founders Edition card I've ever taken apart. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, let me see, is it, yeah, I thought that thermal pad was, uh, crunchy or something, but we're, we'll go ahead and clean the, um, thermal compound off of the, um, uh, uh, SOC, and... Um, we'll get the uh, numbers off of it. I believe it's a it should be a TU-104 of some sort. And we'll get it cleaned up, get some new compound on it, and uh, get her put back together. And uh, I'll show you the uh, reassembly process here in just a mo. Give me a minute. Okay, I'll zoom in here. As you can see, it is a TU-104-410-A1. Um, and uh, real quick, let me just uh, point out the thermal paste that's left on the edges. Uh, I would not worry about trying to pick that off there or clean that up. Um, there's a very good possibility you could do more damage to it uh, by trying to clean that off than, than it's worth. You could kill it, uh, frankly, by breaking a little piece off. So don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt nothing. Uh, just try to get as much off of, try to get as much off the, uh, the shiny part of the uh, SOC as possible. But yeah, TU-104-410-A1. And uh, that's what's on this particular card here. And uh, yeah, that looks, uh, looks good. I, um, I'm sorry, I just find it mesmerizing looking at all the little traces, especially with all the memory chips and things. And um, this thermal paste over here is still, still screwing with me. I don't know why they didn't just put a big thermal pad right there. Um, but anyway, um, here's the thermal paste I use. I bought it at Best Buy uh, TG7. It's, uh, I think it's $8 a tube, $7 a tube, something like that, at least my local Best Buy. And... Um, yeah, we'll just throw that over there and that. But yeah, just take the cap off and we're gonna put we're gonna put just a little bit right here. I'm not gonna show you yet, but it's kind of a feel thing. You just kinda just squeeze it on there and call it good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole bunch, okay? It doesn't take a whole bunch at all. Just a little little blob right there in the middle and we'll go ahead and set it aside and get the cooler over here and go ahead and don't forget to clean the old paste off the bottom part of the the cooler I think they call that the cold plate uh, sorry I'm got a little bit of hiccups going on or whatever um, but yeah the bottom part of the cooler make sure you clean this off too so it would be kind of unfortunate to uh, clean the um, SOC off and then forget to clean the cooler off It kinda defeats the purpose so we'll just go ahead and clean this off just like we did the SOC uh, make it nice and shiny and we'll get ready to reassemble this this here gadget and this is when you would uh, you would uh, blow the cooler out that would be ideal 
Um, if you've got an old, well, maybe not an older card, but a, a card with a few miles on it, it may collect some dust. So you can blow blow the blow air through it and blow the dust out of the fins. But to reassemble it, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you plug your fans back in nice and gently. You don't want to break nothing. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. It is time consuming to take it back apart because of the uh, 17,749.3 screws it's got hold it st holds it together. And uh, we'll just set this back down, align it up, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure that she's on there. And uh, for reassembly, we we'll want to uh, put put the bolts back in. And there's four screws. There's four screws that hold the cooler together on the ends, on both end, on the left side. Um, D down underneath the PCB, you want to make sure you put, make make sure to put those back in. I don't think I mentioned them when I took it apart, but yeah, you want to make sure that those are in there. And we're gonna do some uh, let's do some fake B roll of all of these daggone screws that hold this silly thing together. Look at that, it's just a mess. If you have a mod mat, then you can kind of organize these a little better than I have. But I just wanted to get a little camera view of these various screws, different sizes, and they all hold this thing together. It's like NVIDIA paid their engineers to like utilize as many screws as possible in uh, assembling this particular GPU. Um, like I said earlier, I, I, I've never had a Founders Edition card, especially three thousand or 2000 series, and... I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into here. Uh, Gamers Nexus, um, he actually took the cooler apart, and I, from what I understand, the cooler is held together with glue, and you've got to like break it to get the cooler apart to replace the fans. I'm not doing that, obviously. I don't want to mess with that mess. So uh, here we are. I'm just taking the just took it apart so that you can see how to replace the thermal paste, check your thermal pads, and then reassembly, which. Um, if you need a guide, here we are. So, let me get the camera set up right. I really need to get a camera made for making YouTube videos because my cell phone is kind of difficult. Alright, so we're going to start with the with the 4 millimeter bolts. So, get your socket or your bit, whatever you want to call it. And strategically, with your fingers, you can start threading them in. And with my giant freaking sausage hands, that's uh, a little difficult. But just make sure you do, you do not cross-thread the little bastards in there because that would really suck. So you've got to use the very tips of your fingers. Maybe grow your fingernails out for a week so you can grip them better. And you can thread them in there and get them, get them started. And then put your driver on like that. And just drive them on in there. Now, snug. You don't want to crank these things down and break something. So just snug them down a little bit. You know, right there. See, click, click. And 20 minutes later, you'll have all 444 million of these little standoffs back in, and you'll be ready to put the uh, backing plate back on. Um, like I said, don't forget about the four screws, two on either side that hold, hold the cooler together, or help hold the cooler together. Um, they're black screws. And... Uh, yeah, we'll put these in. We'll put the back plate on where the output uh, ports are. And also, just like I said earlier, make sure the thermal pads are in place on the back plate. Um, uh, this card does sink heat into the back plate, which is a very good idea. Thank you, NVIDIA, for that. Um, that, that helps a lot with dissipating heat, thus extending the life of the card overall. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut through this little part and... Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what's next. Alright, now once you've got the standoffs in, before you put the back plate on, you want to go ahead and put the uh, screws, the four screws with the springs on them that hold the cooler on the uh, PCB. So you want to start in one corner, move on to the opposing corner like this. And uh, hang on, let me make sure this is right. Yeah, 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 because the, the spring doesn't fit on the outside of the back plate so yeah you've got to put the uh, yeah you got to put the spring screws in first start in one corner move up like this just make them snug you don't wanna you don't wanna overdo it and then come down like this 
Yeah, and then we'll go up to this last one, snug it down. Oh, okay. And there we go. And just be careful with your screwdriver. You don't want to scratch up this real nice back plate. And then, like I said, we'll move on to the 45 trillion, 749 million, 449 thousand, uh, 644 small screws. Hold the back plate on. And uh, after this, we'll uh, we'll be we'll be good to go. Oh, and uh, don't forget to put the the uh, the back plate on where the um, or the output plate, the black Nvidia plate, where the output outputs are on the back of the card that goes on before the backing plate. All right, and once you get all the screws back in, you can reinstall your graphics card back into your computer, and you are all done. You've got a nice, clean, fresh thermal pasted. RTX 2070 or 2070 Super or any Founders Edition. I believe they're all the same, just, you know, different sizes. So, hit the uh, like button, subscribe if you would uh, like some more content and to be notified when I post it. And I really appreciate you watching and I guess I'll hopefully see you in the next video, you guys. Thanks, thanks again for watching and we'll see you later.